Hey, what's going on guys? John here, and today we're actually going to be doing a video review and a demo of the Derenenner Neo 300 power station. So this is actually a 300 watt power station, and what I first want to do is actually walk you through the device itself, some of its compatibility, and then we're actually going to do a demo, and I'm going to plug something into this just to give you guys some idea of what to expect. We'll also take a look briefly at the manual. So starting with the device itself, um, you have this nice LED panel here across the front. Um, you can choose between either DC power or AC power, so typically um, when charging this or utilizing it, you do have um, two options here. You can actually use a car plug that it includes, so this is basically the cable here. You would plug this into the cigarette lighter of your car, and then you could actually use this to power the device, or you could actually use this as something for um, the car socket itself if you wanna power something with that car socket. So you've got a couple options there. For the inlet, you have a standard um, cord that runs to a small brick, and then this has a power cable that then plugs in, and this is how you charge it. So you can see here it shows in, and obviously we have the icon going up to indicate that it's charging. Um, when this is pulled out, obviously this will now go away, and it just shows um, we're at basically low battery currently. When we wanna actually utilize this, we have a few options. We can plug in um, USB-C, you have two USB ports, so this is basically a powered port, and then you have a 3.0 port, and then you have AC power, so you do have an outlet here. You can plug in the standard outlet in, and this is a tamper-resistant based outlet. Um, on the back side, if you flip this around, you can actually hit this button here and turn on a light. Um, there you go here, there's the light turned on, so really useful if you just need some light in a specific you know, spot. I think it just goes on and off you can go through like flash modes or just back to power off. Overall, the look and feel of this is very slick. Right now, it's basically putting it back into sleep mode. We're gonna go ahead and actually do a little demo. And I have a large light here I usually use for my recording. So I'm gonna unplug this light here, and we're actually gonna plug this in to the power station just to get some idea of the draw and show you guys that this actually works. Now, this isn't a super high powered device, but this will actually work up to 300 watts. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. It's a little bit tough to do with one hand, but there we go. And I believe we should be able to hit AC power. And now you can see this is on, and I have a remote that controls that light. So I should hopefully be able to power this on and we can do a little demo here. So I don't know if this actually has to be like held down. So there it goes, now it says out, and you can actually see the battery indicator. You do have to hold it down. It shows the um, Hertz rating and the voltage coming through that, and then obviously indicates that AC power's on. And of course, now you can see our lights on. Usually I like to do the cold mode, so I'm gonna actually turn the light there, crank up our brightness, and um, this basically just shows you that it's now being utilized. It doesn't show you specifically the wattage being used, but generally this is gonna work with most things that could be up to 300 watts. Um, to give you some idea, right now I have a very large extended uh, four car garage with refrigerators plugged in, electronics everywhere, I have like a whole man cave out here, and the entire garage, even with this high-end computer powered on, is only using roughly about 600 watts. An example of something that would take up uh, more wattage would be something like a space heater. That would be between 1,000 and 1,500 watts, and that probably would not work at all with something like this. But if you're plugging in low-powered devices, maybe you need to use simple things like lights or um, charging other things, uh, anything that's really just low power, this is actually gonna work very, very well. Um, just don't necessarily expect it to work with something that's gonna suck a lot of energy, like a vacuum cleaner may not work well with something like this. Now going through the manual, um, it does have picture diagrams of everything, kind of goes over all the safety stuff, um, gives you ideas of like troubleshooting if you run into problems, you know, anything you could uh, run into there. It really diagrams everything that we've talked about, shows you all the different light indicators. Um, you can also use a solar panel with this, so it gives you an icon here up at number three that will indicate this. Number four is sleep, you can see the Hertz ratings dep depending on what's plugged in. AC or DC power, and then you also have your USB and LED, um, as well as indicators for low temperatures, high temperatures, or any malfunctions that are happening with the device. So it's all very, very straightforward. Overall, I really like the look and feel of this. The LED is pretty slick. I have 
tested some of the other ones in the in the past and overall this comes with um, really nice instructions it's very clear and they do include extra cables as well for all the different connectivity needs you might have so this actually gives you an extra connector here you could utilize and then you have all your usb and power cables as well so this is basically a usb-c to usb-c and you could use this to power up say a phone or any other devices that would require that Overall, really awesome unit, and I think if you're looking for something like this, whether or not it's backup power, an extra light, anything like that, this definitely would be worth checking out. Thanks for watching my video review, and I hope you found it helpful.